Hey there everyone, welcome back to Vertway Drafting Inc. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most powerful tools in AutoCAD and probably one of the most difficult to really use when you're beginning to use AutoCAD. And we're going to be talking about XREFs. Uh, if you're new to AutoCAD or just looking to brush up on your skills, this video is perfect for you. So let's dive right in. So what is an XREF? So an XREF, according to Autodesk, is an external file that is referenced and linked to your drawing. It can be a block, a drawing, 3D model, whatever, and it is displayed in your AutoCAD. So we're going to show you just how to do that right now. So first let's create an XREF. So you can see here I have a whole whack of projects I have. These are all from my courses and everything. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to open a new file, a blank drawing. So just open a new file and you're going to be brought to this. Now let's assume I want to bring in a project that I've worked on before, but you know I don't really want to redraw it. Um, I want to keep my file size down, um, and you know there's just a variety of things that I need done. And XREF is the perfect tool for that. So what you're going to do is again open your blank drawing and then type in XREF, and you'll see the XREF thing will show up. Um, and your, the name of your drawing will be right here. This little pop up will show up. Um, it'll show here, you know, your references and what is all in here. You can reference a whole whack of drawings. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this file here and we're going to attach a DWG. Uh, that's for that. Uh, if you click the little drop-down file, you can actually import PDFs, images, um, you know, point clouds, coordination models. But for the sake of this introduction type thing for XREF, we're just going to attach a DWG file. And we're going to scroll down and we're just going to import one of my projects here. So I'm just going to do uh, chapter 2. No, let's just do chapter 3 because it's the same thing. We're going to have this show up. So what this does is this shows you where you can put your thing uh, or your XREF. Uh, you can specify on screen where you want to put it. You can just type in the coordinates. We're just going to specify on screen. Um, you can specify the, and, oh sorry, that's specify on screen the scale. So I'm keeping the scale up 1. You can change it. Um, so if I wanted it to be half 1, I'll just put 0.5. And uh, what you can do is you can actually adjust this. You know what? I'm just going to show you what it's like when it's half the scale. Um, if you click uniform scale, you only select, you only change one, and it'll change it all. Um, sorry about that. Um, but uh, yeah, you just click enter, and then you can paste your drawing. So as you can see here, I just pasted this in as an XREF. And you can see it shows up in my little XREF thing here. So let's say I want to do another drawing. Um, I'll go over that again. Uh, let's just do AutoCAD Basics. Episode 1, click open. Um, I'm going to keep the scale uniform. Uh, and this is a really small drawing, so I'm going to make it 25 times the size it should be. Uh, actually, you know what? That's way too big. Let's do 15. Um, and then you can see like th there's different path types. There's no path, relative path, full path. Just leave that as relative path. Um, you don't really need to change that. R reference type is going to be an attachment. You can also do an overlay. Uh, we're just going to stick with attachment just so you can get used to this. And then we'll click OK. And I mean, look, it's 15 times bigger, but it's still super small because it's something I initially did to play with AutoCAD. But I'm just going to zoom in. I'm going to place it here. And I've got two files now in my XREF, in my XREF uh, document here. If you want to insert a PDF, uh, go in, click the little down drop down arrow, click PDF. Go in here, look for a PDF. Um, you'll see I have a PDF for that. So I click Open. And what's going to happen is this is going to show up. And uh, this is going to show you what the different things it's trying to import are. We're just going to click OK. And it's going to be loaded in. Uh, you're not going to see that. It's just imported as a PDF. Uh, we can also attach images. Um, you know, go look for images, whatever. Uh, I don't know if I've got any on here I can use. I've got an atom. There we go. Just insert it. And then you're going to see, once you click somewhere, you're going to have to select a scale. Uh, I'm going to do 2, and then we're going to zoom in. It's really small. I apologize about that. But you can see that the little, it, it's supposed to be a background thing, but it's all black for some reason. Um, but that's how you insert an image. So this is actually an image. It'll show up. Um, let me just see if I can find an image that's actually going to work. So I'm going to click that again. Um, let's see. Let's do auto, Atom Revised. That's a better one. We're going to click this. We'll put it in the corner of that one. And we'll do that. And you're going to see that my image is now x -wrapped. Of course, I'm not scaling this. I'm just showing you how to import it. Uh, you can scale it yourself. As you can see, you know, you can shrink it down. 
you can adjust it. Um, but that's the basics of how you can use XREF. And you know, XREF is useful because you know it it lowers down the cost of well, it lowers down the, the cost of the amount of uh, memory and um, hard drive space you need to save a file. It's good for just for making things show up when you need them to show up without making the file bigger. Uh, so, uh, in conclusion, that's how you import and use XREFs and import images, PDFs, DWG files. Uh, if you guys need any help, please go check out our website uh, and we'll be happy to help you out with any of your problems. Um, we do have courses. If you want to take a course, feel free to go check out our course page. We have an introduction to AutoCAD course. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't, well, it's going to cover XREF, um, but, uh, you know, we're still kind of working on it. Um, but anyways, thanks again. Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to check us out and hopefully this helped you. Thanks and we'll see you in the next one.